welcome to the hunter basics call of the wild <clears throat> now if you just got this game you bought the premier new hunting pack one and two very good game please look to the youtube channel to part one and basics equipping and we talked about movement how to move which if you try hold it make you lay down make sure low profile as you can see the center right where the heart we talked a little bit about the map so this is the way the winds blow so if there's any deer over in that direction where I'm looking deer will smell you and most animals will take off all but rabbits now over there it's good that's the direction you're going we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, by pushing option you can go into the uh, beta club of course that's beta club you can get some decent money there cash for harvest three animals that weigh at least 220 four. and there's heavy events you know, there's weekly and community challenges and competitions and the like. But the system is probably the key of all things. You, you did operate that, like I say, you just press options, scroll down to system, go over, then hit X, and you can turn your tutorial hints, which there's not very good tutorial, but they get you started. A mission system, you can turn them off. Field of view, wherever you want that. Sometimes I like 90. Free compass is a good place. Hide hunting. You don't want to hide your wind unless you're nuts. Uh, online ID. It's a challenge though. Because uh, you can't see the wind which way it's blowing. So it don't make sense to do that. Uh, if you could see where the wind's blowing. Yeah. If the trees were blowing a certain way. And you could see. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be worth hiding that. HUD. Uh, unit system. Imperial. Or you can change it to metric. Whatever you'd like. I like white for inactive tracks. It shows up better on the green surfaces. Snow, of course, you want to use a different type of color. You can change all these colors. they got plenty of colors to choose from. Each one of them has got the same amount of colors. You can just push right, left, and choose what color uh, scheme that you desire. Uh, I picked them right there. and The rest of these are all on, of course. Particle Go track effects. Aim toggle, you can off. Always leave it off. Manual, whatever. And of course, the audio is whatever you prefer. Subtitles are on, so you can hear them tell you what to do. Hunting club, you want to leave that on. You don't want to delete it. And uh, you can just back up. Okay, now to select the items, you just push left on the D pad or right. You can activate by pushing R2. And if you want to aim again at weapon, like, let's look over here for instance. See, we're probably, I don't know, close to about 15 meters from that wall. So if I aim an arrow right over it should hit right there. See where it hit? Now, look at the, there's a difference on the bottom. A lot of people don't hit, see that? But if you have it set on 21 yards, it's going to hit pretty real close to right where you want to hit. And see, if right there where the cross member is. Now, if you push it up to 65, watch the difference. So, I guess this will tell you how high it will shoot. See how high that shot? Just imagine a deer way out there, what it would do. Look how much high that is. You can miss a deer if he's close. So, if we, we'll put it right here on the lower post. See how high that hit? Tremendous height. So, I suggest you leave it on 21 when you get that act. Now, you can grab the arrows when you get a certain level. You can grab the arrows, they're very expensive and it's kind of a good deal when you go through this. Like I said, that's a bad way to go. So if you want to go a certain way to hunt, you know, do it. When you use foliage to your advantage, like see the central between the noise level and the heart disappear? Sound. But sound won't always, uh, now that whistles. If you hold down the R1 on PlayStation 4, you will whistle. And, you know, so let's go back here. I want to go into some more details to help you on your way. Of course, you can go into any lodge once you've activated them, and you can sleep no, the a lot of time. Actually. You can go to bed for a little fraction right cost. I'll you can go back to places. six o'clock in the morning. Okay, so that kind of comes in handy. And of course, we all I talked earlier about claiming items and using the claim. The storage room now. You hit square and it brings it up to you. 
and you can just scroll all your rifles your weapons the some of the DLCs are free some items are super free you can just get that and use that and tap circle to go back and then you pick, pick your handgun press X and uh, it'll let you scroll right down to whatever you need uh, you press X go right down through the sh items push X on the item on store and you'll scroll down all the shotguns to circle make sure that you get the weapons that you desire so you know there's all kinds of weapons here tents you can buy tents you can buy this everything's in the storage like I talked about everything's in the storage so we'll put that in the storage. we'll put this we'll put this in the storage and then, then we'll just put them right back out um, I think the 270 is probably one of better guns but you know I'm gonna equip the shotgun cause we'll do a little duck hunting here all right and I'll, I'll equip the bow it's pretty simple I like the 70 pound bow because I like to hunt bear and grizz so you can put that all in your storage see it's in your storage here push X uh, I highlight it see and that once they're in there you're not done with it I wish you could do it right here or do the inventory see because it don't do nothing so here's what you do I like the 7mm it's one of the best overall weapons <clears throat> you can change your character too you know it costs you a little money to do it <clears throat> but that's up to you I ain't got enough money to do it you know and you can add a backpack that don't cost you nothing most you have them like spot you know it gives you a little extra weight see it just creeps your weight up a little bit is all you know because uh, if you do it like this see it and it will make you more seeable you know you won't be as hidden you show up a little better so if you have no backpack you're going to be more uh, no less noise but see you notice the noise level going up with a small I'll just say the more you go up the heavier noise is so maybe sometimes it may not even be worth trying it so once you get everything you want out of your storage room see now you don't have no gun well, all I got is calls all I got is stupid calls and this all calls you know you equip it by holding LT later on you unlock different equipment that comes in handy and I got a good duck duck call so go into your inventory when you want to you can place the thing hit hit options just simply press option go to inventory press down to where inventory hit X it'll go to weapons hit X again so let's say we're going to put the seven millimeter right here by the moose all right, push back on the D-pad on the left side of it. Go down to the coach mate. Put your shotgun, like, right up here where the duck call is because you're going to be using the duck weapon, all, duck shotgun. And, of course, I like the bow down here in between these right here. Now to equip your uh, sights, just hit circle until it's back. You can move up and down on the left hand under an inventory, under ammo. Hit 7 millimeter. As you can see there, it's got a barrel. And that means it can take a lot of brutal shot so you just go up to seven millimeter and pop it in there hit circle until it's highlighted to side blinking hit sights put your hyperion sight and move down until you get on the right weapon put it in its place hold down your bow likewise equip press x hit circle back up you want to make sure that you got ammo broad bird shot or broad heads pop that in there see it light up now I haven't got nothing on a shotgun, right? So, just hit circle, push up until it's highlighted there in the center column, hit X, go up, pop it in there. Now you can put a sight on there too, but I don't have one. So uh, let's, go get, let's go get a set of sights. So if you access your cache, you just hit, you wanna hit storage, back until you actually see it. So, hit circle storage just scroll all the way down I hear a bear real close you hear that you hear that bear barking at me so we can get a couple different shotgun sights actually 
I think I already went by it. I think I can put some buckshot in there too. Yeah, there's there's the sights. Now there's a couple different sights you can use. You can use this. Uh, you can use this Raptor. And there's also a model Spaz Coachman. I think that's it. I think you can use that Spaz. Yeah. So let's back up and try it. So see, you can put the shotgun on. Here it is. Shotgun. It's a simple shotgun with a bead and a fork. So just hit your option button go to inventory go down to sights and you can put this cool raptor sight on see see it light up now when you light up push back look you got a name pattern right where that dot hits if it's pistol some of the pistol too in most shotguns but say yeah i don't want that you out of your mind hit you know x push over put the true vision sights on that so see them light up now they're a light up sight which i i favor most of all and you can switch your shot. Say, well, man, I don't want that shot size. You gotta be on the inventory. When it's blinking, you can move it. See, up and down in the under the inventory. Push inventory and go down. Let's put buckshot on there. At least you can shoot some deer. Now, see, it changed it. So, I don't know. I, I, I'd say that bear is over there somewhere parking. So let's go kill some ducks. We'll do a little bit of uh, aiming. So get down. Now I talked yesterday about doing some things with your tents. Okay, now tents, if you equip tents, if you equip tents and stuff like that, I talked a little bit about the tent deal, you know? So let's go down there and we'll have to take off some stuff, of course. Uh, let's take off the deer grunner and uh, Jackrabbit, we're not gonna kill no moose. And we're not gonna kill no elk. Okay. So I gotta remember I gotta be a little light for all this stuff. And yeah, I don't even need that that stuff right there is good. So say I want to put a tin up and or you know, blinds or whatever. I kinda show you when we get there. Alright. So what you wanna do, you know, you wanna go into your inventory. And you want to make sure these weapons are in place. So see, right now, I, got, I took a lot of that stuff out, and now I got tremendous room. So you can go right down there and pop your tent up, see? And we talked a little bit about, you know, we talked a little bit about putting tents up and how we can use them to spawn on them, see? So see, you can put that stuff down, and we can spawn right back on that stuff. So see when a tent shows up this works in multiplayer too if you want to help people find their way but as you see on my map here i've got places where i've been duck hunting see that i put a tent a blind and some ducks so let's but one thing make sure you're laying down or something because when you spawn on these places you can scare the animals if you're not you know not right so what you want to do is see there's a blind you can fast travel by pushing X, and there you go. This is a neat little trick. And here in a little bit, we'll show you how to switch maps, which is easy. It's no big deal. I've killed uh, lines with a bow and multiplayer, but I'm not going to show you that. If you want to see that, watch my videos. You may see some stuff. So how do you know if you hear ducks? You'll hear them. They'll quack. You'll hear quack, 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 quack. I think we might. And that's a good way to make money, really. If you want to know the truth, that's a super good way to make money. You can keep going back and forth.
right now. You run by pressing L3, tapping L3 down. If you tap it again, you'll quit running. And if you want to just get in a blind of weight, you can do that. Or you can just dismantle the decoy and just pop them in there. That's how you pop them in. Uh, it's pretty easy. You know, if you want to go back in your inventory, press the circle. Mallard decoys. You kill ducks with a bow. As far as that going off. You kill them with seven millimeter, kind of ruins them. Them really. See, and I just put that in. And see, you can really. You can sit right here and call. Now, when you go in, that thing will shut up. That thing will simply shut up. You want to hit circle and go down. To get out, you just simply open it uh, around. But sometimes they get a little red. When they get a little red, see, animals don't respond well. So let's go up here and look around. Kill a couple ducks. They do give you decent money. Steel shot's the best way to go. The automatic 20 gauge is the best thing to use. That looks like a bear. It is. That's a deer. So there's a deer, see. So the best thing to do with the deer, you got your grunt call on, just call. If you're right here, see you can call an animal in as long as you're as long as you're in the invisibility mode, just give three quick blasts. There there she comes. Let's shoot her with shotgun so I can show you the effectiveness. And kind of Kind of tap it there so you can see her. Giving her a quick couple quick calls. Solid. I can't believe it's just a little blood splatter. That was a solid hit, man. They, every time they seem like they ain't add stuff, it makes the game worse. So I don't know what the heck's going on here, but every time they, they add an update, it kind of ruins the game. Just saying. Every time they update or give some kind of a fentangle stuff, they just ruin it. Now my favorite's a bow. I'm an archer. I love hunting with a bow in real life. So that's my kind of thing. And it looks like the deer fell down right there, maybe. Uh, it's still going. It's just showing. 
see how the green shows up? I think the green shows up so much better. I think shouldn't have went that far. They've been working tweaking this stuff out forever on this game. As you can see the blood rate, not everybody has that. You got there's the deer. See the outline dropped? So there's the deer. The deer dropped out. And I can't believe it went this far at that range. That was most deer would be dropped in its track. So let's look at the other place I got. So I got two places here that I hunt in. And the other place is right over here. A lot of bear over here. Just, you know. I'll show you how to switch maps here in a minute. So just equipping the right equipment and moving right along there. So see here the ducks? You want to move to your shotgun. very slowly sound like three or four of them there I think I already took off, don't you? There's a duck scene. See my face? See my duck down there, okay? If I could claim a duck, just simply go down there and confirm me. Give you a little bit better money. Very easy to hunt. Okay. So let's go into changing maps. So say I'm tired of playing this map and I want to switch maps. Just simply uh, hit options. Scroll down to where you hit map. See And see right there, if it's lit up, you can switch. If it's hit X, you won't be able to switch. Okay. I guess you can just tap X on map, hit X, and just push right and left on the D-pad. So we can go, we can visit a few maps. Uh, we'll go to, there, we'll go to Mebataga. It's about everything. You can switch, Mebataga's a snow map. And you, they all start the same. They start out easy money, and they're the easiest and straightforward. We talked a little bit earlier on uh, part one on how to pick up items. You know, so it's pretty good. So there's different animals here in this area. It's colder. So you definitely want to switch your, uh, you, get, you definitely want to switch. Now I already platinum this, so 
So when you're here, of course, you definitely want to switch your character's uh, camo to the uh, yeah Arctic hunting outfit. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. I'll put it that way. You don't have to. It'll work just as fine just like this. But some of the bears, it's a very big map. So as you load it up, it, it it's pretty cool. It's a big map. So there this map is. You build actually build a bridge in this one over here. Let's see, right here. You build a bridge right here. Some of the stuff I've already bought. And there's caves here that you explore and you find mammoth tusk and stuff. I think best place to hunt caribou. I think the best place to hunt caribou is right down in here. Right here. Right in here. Anywhere around here is good. And you know, so let's let's just go this way. Let's just go. A lot of bear over here usually. Usually you just see bear walking around. There's moose in this map, caribou, reindeer, whatever you want to call them. There's a bear. So he's probably a little ways off. Oh, he's hit. Long ass ways off, too. Now that's what usually happens. When you go to shoot and see how my heart's elevated, hard to shoot when you're when you're dying here. Just let your heart calm down. plastered him all right let's go up there and see what we hit we'll just do some serious shooting here shoot Steve oh and hit that one too if they drop down you hit them oh that was a mess and a half. I think I hit both bears. I don't think I touched you. Now the deer call, cert, all you gotta do is if you wanna know what animals to use, uh, you know, what animals to uh, hunt, it'll tell in your codec by pressing options. You can go down and hit the codec and you go to like uh, Medvataga National Park. Go down to your uh, people, animal, points of interest, region, hunter. You can look at your profile card all that stuff it's all in there how to use calls what the, what different species to use calls with it's very easy to figure out some of the some of the controls are a little bit harder to use you hear that the animals are more vocal in this this game
So you know what we're looking for, right? We're looking for a bear track. What's that? Is that one of the bears I just shot? Oh, probably it wouldn't surprise me. It's a long ways off, ain't it? Oh, dropped him in his tracks. <laughs> Let's go get him. He was a nice shot. So I got dead animals laying all over the countryside here. These are the caribou that came up there earlier. This is a vast region, so poop. Once you be a poop in poop inspector. One bear ran this that way over that way, and one bear went the other way and the long ways is that there I think I've actually seen some of the animals disappear get up to them and the animals disappear oh yeah I've seen in this game sometimes aggravate the hell out of you so see he he's he's glowing so we got him heck I see him fall so there's a bear for us I almost saved the harvest until I get quite a few animals. 109 yards, and see when you do them little things, see you get $4,000 reward. So it's good to do all them little side things. I guess I could talk a little bit about your tears, your uh, perks. Which, I've got mine all filled up, you know, if I wanted to reset them, which I could, I can't right now, I ain't got the money. But, uh, if you want to, you want to do the perks that makes the most sense, the skill tree, you're just, you're going to pick what you want. You know, I don't have no more perks left, so, you know, it's pretty obvious what they are and what they do. You can see the perks that I have picked out. You know, sight, spotty. And that's kind of, I thought that was kind of spot knowledge is decent. Cash, that's a pretty cool one right there when you're first going up. The the cost, the passive mode are making more the merrier. You know, so I think that's a good one. Stalker's very good. I, I spent a lot of points on it. And off with soft feet, I thought was good. I didn't worry about my health, but I did worry about this top tier a little bit and it's improvised blind so you know you can buy these whenever you get the points to activate and things same thing with perks you got several perks for handguns archery archery is my favorite so that's the one i spent the most time with and you just gotta pick what you want to do well, are you going to be an archer are you going to be a rifle hunter you're going to be a pistol arrow you're going to use pistols at the at the butt we, what are you going to do how are you going to hunt and I think it's many things if you're going to be a stalker or, you know, what are you going to be? Now, see, here's the thing about all these animals. They like to come back. And it nailed him. He's hit hard. you can call it when animals get wounded they are more dangerous especially these bears in this game if you get them mad you shoot these bears they will attack you they will kill you uh, some of them will just charge you to kill you they see you and you're you're in their territory you're dog meat to them and that bear might not went very far who knows I did shoot the bear earlier, but you know, sometimes they glitch out animals. Maybe it was further, it might have been further up here. Who knows? It could have been. It was a long shot. I do know that. So who knows for sure?
Oh, here's another one. So you can kill a whole caribou herd. Her they run in herds. You know? So. Well, I think he ran into a bear track yet. You really want to know the truth? How far was that stupid bear? I mean, how far was that bear track? I mean, it could be different animals altogether. I mean. Yes, that's not good. Oh, I was close. Huh. Kind of hard to hit him when they're right on top of you. There he is. See, he's down. Pink shows up pretty good on this, though, I think. There's another one. See it right there? That. Oh, shit. That's a definite warning call, guys and girls. That was a nice hit on that bear, too. That was a good hit on that bear. There he is. He didn't go very far, did he? Huh. That's a good way to level up. So maybe you're saying Medvatiaga is the place to go. There he is. That shotgun done him in get real good, didn't it? So it's kind of a fun way to level up if you want to just have some fun. Now usually, like I say, wherever you find bear tracks and more bears, there's more. Trust me. It just ain't lemon, you know, just there's no such thing as a uh, Oh, okay, so see where it said claiming reward where I just shot animals? Heck, I think there's an animal down there laying. I'm going to go back down toward the bottom where I was. Oh, there's another animal down here, I think. So, let's see. We can go to the uh, hunt club and see right there you hit X. And you can claim that. See right there? You can claim that. Say claim reward.
but you get the general idea. So the shotgun works really good with buckshot. I hit him twice. The shotgun's really good. The, there's an over 100 you get in this in this storyline here, and it really comes in handy for bear and the like. So I'd recommend it highly. So let's go back down through here and see if we find any animal tracks, bear tracks, or anything. Kind of scoop over this way here, sweep over here, make sure. I don't think a freaking duck call would do it, do you? I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly where I was. I had to spawn here at this house, so yeah, right, look how pink it is. So in this area here, I might have to go up in this area a little bit. Yeah, behind me, it might be been up here where them bear tracks were. I know one of the bears went running like a bat out of H. I've been up here before and done hunting and I killed so many animals up here and it's been unreal. 30, 40 animals in one hunt. Have them laying everywhere. Moose. Not so much moose. They're on over there by the lake. You know what I mean? But bear and everything. Bear, caribous. The caribou, they kind of run, you know, they call them reindeer, too. But uh, they're all over the darn place. It's best to go back where you were if you get kind of turned around, which I surely do get turned around a lot. So if you do get turned around here, just simply go to this house. And you can start all over. See, I think I'm too far over this way. I think I need to go back in here. Yeah. Some of them may not went very far, you know. And some of them do disappear when you start shooting them. Anywhere around them lake beds, them frozen water beds, is a good place to hunt. Period. Anywhere, anywhere you see the, these dry river beds, like water beds here, are good places to hunt. Over here is an exceptional place to hunt. Over here is a super place to hunt for reindeer over in here. Let me put it that way. Over in here is a super place for reindeer. Okay. Reindeer, reindeer, reindeer land. Don't fall through the ice. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So some of the animals didn't show up. I'll kind of show you a little bit of the, each map. So you kind of get a... You fall in love with it. There's, oh, there's that other rain caribou. There you go. Hey, you can get a good look at him, can't you? He'd be a nice one to mount, wouldn't he? So what you do is you hit square, and you hit, you can hit taxidermy or put trophy manager. So let's taxidermy him. It'll cost $4,100, okay? Okay, so we just, we just taxidermied him. Yeah. I will say this, in this map you want to do a lot of looking. Because you can run onto a whole slew of animals. So maybe that bear was down this way more. I don't think he was that far away from me when I shot. But he could have been high on the map. Could have been a lot higher. But, you know, I just don't want to stay in one place and hunt. I think that bear was up here. So there's something right there, yellow. Poop. It's terrible poop. Yeah. None of them are bleeding, so. So, see, I don't know where that bear went. I don't know where it remember. Maybe, maybe he ran back. Who knows? I know I killed one of them. He's probably up in this area here. You think you'd see the bear tracks, you know? Fresh tracks, yellow, yellow. Huh. I don't know. 
them off. It'll tell you where the uh, what's going on on the services. So. And you can see I don't see no bear. You see me shoot the bear over, but lo and behold, they disappeared. Let's go down this way and look around. I think I killed that bear too. That's a little kinky animal. I'll circle around here and we'll switch maps. We'll go to Africa. It's a cat. They're fun to hunt. They're very sly and shy. And so we'll go down here a little piece. If we don't find it, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll move right along. Bear hunt. So, I don't know. I see something here. Poop. Some kind of done waste. And was always tracking across this place. Maybe the bear was on the, over the hill. You know? He's like I'd run in these tracks by now. That's not all you see is a bunch of darn uh, other tracks. Them bears were a long ways off too. No bear tracks. No sense. Ah, uh, some of the tracks disappear. What can I say? So let's go ahead and go to another map. So I'll show you a little bit of each map. So like I say, you hold option, map, hit square. If it don't come up, hit X on it, and then it'll pop up. Or whatever system you have. Make sure that it pops up so you can hit reserve. So we at Medvetagov, we're going to go to Verhunga. That's your African map. That's where the lines are. They're always fun to hunt. This is going to be a little bit longer stream than what I anticipated. There's quite a few more things I'd like to go over with. On, there's some uh, accessing blinds and cool things about tents. Now, there is one thing I want to tell you about tents. Tents are good because you can go in there and access your storage. So you can carry a tent with you. And if you're in multiplayer, it's good to carry a tent so people can spawn on you and get ammo. So, just saying. So, if you want to carry a tent with you, now you believe me. You know the ghost jackal is real because you've seen it. Alright. And you have an opportunity to help me make things right. There is a tree that only appears in the moonlight. Find it. That's where you must bury the jackal skull. And offer praise and respect to the dead on behalf of your great and I want to switch maps again. You just do it that way. I turned off all the missions so they wouldn't be too many spoilers. There is collectibles around. You just set the thing on and it'll pick them up within 20, 30 feet. My first video, Basics Part 1, will show you. There's all kinds of vast equipment, different combinations. I think one of the most powerful guns, some of the free guns, like Weapon Pack 2, the Nozzle, when you equip them and there's that shotgun, you know, so, you know. So this is one of my favorite maps, I think, as far as, because I like the red deer. There's a lot of red deer right up through here. If you hunt this map, there's a ton of red deer. That's the last mission to give you the trophy. And there's a lot of fox. Here's a good place to get that 200 yard shot with the fox. Let's see. I used to have a tent off there. Let's see. Where is that at? Yeah, right here it is. Yeah, right here. Right here is one of the best places to get that shot with the 200 sh yard shot with the tent. With the box right here. A lot of wild boar right here too. This is a place to goose hunt too, by the way. So, 
Let's say we want to go goose hunting. How's that sound? Let's say we want to go goose hunting. We can just go right in here to our cache. And we can go to the access the store by just hitting back until it lightens up. And we can um, put the blind in. Uh, you don't really need binoculars in this. And you don't really need no... Let's use some geese. Well, there ought to be geese already here. Goose collar. I think the shotgun will work fine. I think the shotgun will work super fine. Matter of fact, I think I already got geese out. So let's see what where that might be. It'd be in these cornfields, wouldn't it? I thought I had places already picked out. Like in these cornfields. Should have been already some stuff here. Like, see, I wonder if they stole my duck, my geese. I think they stole my geese. Wow, they did. What a bunch of assholes. So, see, that's not fair to me to steal my damn hunting supplies. I had geese all over the place here. Bunch of bitches. Yep. So just be careful, I'll advise you, just be careful, because see, I had geese here, I had geese, a whole hunting camp here, and I can't even go here now because they reset everything. Freaking jackasses. Because as you see, I don't have no geese now. That's a dick thing to do. So that's a crappy thing to do to another person. Yeah, my geese are all gone. Yeah, I had a couple of them blinds. Hmm. Don't that make you pissed off? I'm glad I platinum everybody. I really did because every update, it, that's the only negative I can give this bunch. It seems like every damn update, it's worse and worse. I mean, you know, it's a shame too because they like to talk to everybody that gives them a good reason. Well, Maybe they don't want my videos because, you know, I'm honest. I don't hide stuff. So you go down to, I think, lures. Like, yeah, like these geese. That worked, I guess. That's a shame I had to buy it all. So they ripped me off, big time. That's what happens when you're dealing with people like that. Well, they don't care. So they don't give a shit. Apparently, because they, they didn't even return all that. That's sad, guys. That's sad, guys and girls. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Wow. I didn't think they'd do stuff that damn shitty. Just shows you... You know, they messed my account up, so they could have... They could at least... They could have at least sent it back to me. They could at least give me my stuff back to me instead of robbing me all my money and stuff where I bought all that stuff. I bought like ten different, uh, three different pair of decoys and blinds so I lost all that when I bought it. 
Uh, thank you, expansive worlds. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Mm. And that's what ruins gaming, guys. That's what really ruins games. People don't know what they're doing. They mess every damn thing up. Just hurts the game. Gaming market is dying. About like the comic market did. It'll never be the same. Never. Only you got people that don't care. They only care about money. Oh, everybody touched a good game. All we care about our gamers. We care about our comic collector. We care about our movie girl. We care. I don't give a shit. Who said about you? As long as you're looking at their shit. And as long as they can sell you stuff. Now this group isn't as bad. Honestly, this group isn't as bad. They're not as bad, but right here's where I got my 200 meter shot with a red fox. Just put a tin up there. Keep checking here and you'll see a fox walking down the road. You just blast him when he gets out there about 200 meters. That's all you gotta do. And you run down this road. See, I had decoys and everything down here in a blind. All gone. Didn't even get my money back. That's more than disappointing. More than disappointing. Oh, yeah. Very disappointing. Now this is a good place for ducks. Ducks seem to love these fields right here. The good thing about ducks is the good thing about ducks is it don't take them long. Just keep hitting circle and you can load it up. Hit X, go back, circle, and it already put them in place. So you can put your geese, just pop them around everywhere. And in the middle of it all, you can put your blind, right? Wrong one. And what I said about making the right choices, putting them in the right place in the inventory. Well, just go right down there and you can get your Canadian goose collar and you can put it right there by your shotgun. That way you don't have to worry about it ever again. So you can just go back and forth. That's why it'd be cool to put a tent up over there, up there. Well, there's a big water area right over there. If you see, and that's why I put it here, because this is a good water area for geese to come in. Right here's a good spot, too, right here in this field. Sometimes it takes a while for the geese to even come. So now you got the idea here, let's go look at another reserve. Remember, tap X, and we, we can go to, we can go to Pernod, Pernado, South America. Let's go ahead and go there. So, so far these are the, and the one thing I can say, true wrecks to come is going to give you a million possibility, but it's only for Leighton Lake. 
and her children with the white tail, black tail, and elk only. So I think it's just late and late. Then they're going to add an animal every update and every an area every update at least one area and an animal to add to the true rack system so that that'll take a while so as you see this is Bernardo and a lot of things going in in this area see I haven't done too much in this area I did kind of go up here and do a few things killed a few animals but I have I did have them all gone but the update kind of erases everything so that kind of disappointed me that really disappointed me when it started you all over so that really bothered me and it kind of ruined it for me that they did this the homes are a little bit interactively better you know you got a gun access right here more of a gun case type thing and you got the bed in this area you can do the same thing sleep for a couple hours but my favorite map and what I like to say my favorite area is Leighton Lake. It ain't because I'm an American or nothing, it's because I just like the Leighton Lake. It's funner to hunt animals. But stay tuned. You know, I wanted to talk a little bit about tents, blinds, accessing. I showed you a little bit on the blinds and accessing the weapon, more weapon. We'll do some more stuff here a little later, uh, part three basics. So please uh, watch out when it comes out. I'll have this ported over to the YouTube and we'll go from there uh watch i got a bunch of videos there on youtube michael vance if you want to watch them have at it and i'm sure you'll find everything that you would need so before we go anywhere let's uh let's uh let's go up here and see if there's any quack quacks now sometimes that works if you just get, leave the map and come back Sometimes it makes ducks come. Now when you spawn there, you start hearing ducks talking. You better get your gun ready because you're going to be hunting some, killing some ducks. There's different ducks. Send them until. So if you don't hear no ducks, you know you're pretty much not going to see any. So pretty much there ain't none there but you'll get the hang of it just hang in there and hunt have fun with the game uh, hopefully the updates don't continue knocking uh, progress away which is the biggest disappointment to me is the progress you lose every time they do that it just like are they even testing this shit or what I mean the game it's pretty sad when the game takes away your progress and I don't think I'm the only one that has the issue there's rabbits too in here you can hunt the rabbits hares and uh, you know you need a shotgun and take them out so anyhow like I say here's a tent and I can show you how to access that so I set a tent here to spawn down here and you know it's got an access point to access guns weapons again and it's got a place to sleep take, take time away now once you open up all these you know houses caps these are lookout points once you open up all these lookout points you can just go anywhere you want see anywhere these lookout points are you can go anywhere this is moose country right here so once you do that once you open these places up, you got it made in the shade. You're going to be uh, taking out a bunch of moves. So you can get a bunch of money by simply just going and playing all the story missions. And you can accumulate a ton of money. So that's my best bet. Go, go open up all your map by going to all the houses. And you can, you can open up a whole salute, a plethora of uh, money and that, that will make your day usually some deer over here or moose
But I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more coming. I'm going to have some more advanced stuff. We're going to talk a little bit more about uh, multiplayer. Multiplayer is pretty easy, really. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about more of the skills. The trophy lodge is pretty easy. I mean, all you got to do is go in there, trophy lodge, and you just set whatever one you up, one you want. And you can just put your, you know, you can even visit your friend's lodge. If your friend's got, see, there's some friend's lodges. And he's the only one that's got a lodge, so just say it. Not all your friends have lodges yet, so. I haven't done anything with it. I do do the beta a lot, so see, I'm really close to knocking that down again. So when I get that third one, I'll get like 1,500 cash. Uh, so that kind of comes in handy. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. See, it shows your score if you hold down the option button. It just show your ping and your level. All you gotta do is hold down the option button. That'll bring it up who you are. So maybe I'll do the multiplayer next time. Uh, I might start in the multiplayer, show how to invite and stuff, and we'll just go from there. If that's okay with you. We may, you know, we can do it. I mean, I'm not in it right yet, but I think all you do is you hit the option. Uh, you may have to just go into the multiplayer. I, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. I think you have to go into multiplayer right off the bat. There's no way to really go into multiplayer from, uh, which should be rectified and uh, should be dealt with, right? Yeah. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody. Take care.